What impact is 2.0 having on private flood? One of the big questions that when 2.0 was approaching, it was coming out, one of the questions I got is, man, this is gonna run the private companies out of business because these rates are going down so much, they're changing this. It's really not the case at all. Really what's happening is FEMA's just coming into the 21st century. Now, don't get me wrong, it's definitely gonna have an impact, but it still seems like your highest risk stuff is still gonna be going over the National Flood Insurance Program. But what we're also seeing with 2.0, with all the, you know, the preferred stuff, you're seeing it shift over to the private side because a lot of these private sides still have some preferred rates. Now, they don't call them preferred rates, uh, but we have seen some four and $500 rates on flood zone X stuff. So a lot of these cu uh, customers who are now paying twelve to $1,500 have started to move over the private. And so that's kind of the big impact. You know, a minimum impact too will be coverage. Uh, like uh, the National Flood Insurance Program only offers uh, 250000 on residential and half a million on commercial. So you would asked a question earlier about that. We're going to talk about coverages too, how big the difference they can be. Now private can provide the same coverage many times, way less. Um, if you're doing a lot with private, there's also something you really want to pay attention to when it comes to banks. You know, you want to make sure that certain carriers are reaching bank requirements, that private's going to be accepted. When is private not going to be accepted? We're going to try to address all those burning questions in this last hour today.